The city of Madison takes a big step for possible big development for a site that has sat vacant for years. Union Corners could soon see new life. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Carlson. Eric Franke has the night off. First tonight at 10, it's a historic piece of property that at one time had potential, but it fell victim to the economy. And for years, the 11 acre site on East Washington Avenue, where North Street turns into Milwaukee Street, has sat vacant. The night team's Mark Lovacott has continuing coverage with plans to bring new life to the stretch. Sarah, for many reasons, this is very special land. At one time, it was home to members of the Ho Chunk Nation. Later, it was a spot where Union soldiers gathered after training at Camp Randall. This is a special site, which is now city owned, and it's waiting for some special treatment. If this is considered the gateway to downtown Madison, then this is one ugly welcome mat. For nearly eight years, these 11 acres, known as Union Corners, has sat empty, completely vacant big ideas it really has been talked about for years and years have been proposed but the economy just didn't let that development happen but what is finally moving things forward is a development about a mile and a half up the road the old don miller site we had the opportunity to learn from the seven and eight hundred blocks that combined with the fact that we had some inquiries earlier in the spring about union corners that told us it's time to move the neighborhood is looking forward to this new process with anticipation and also with some trepidation. The bidding process for development has officially begun for Union Corners. The goal here is mixed use, a pedestrian friendly development with office space, retail and housing. We want to make sure that the whole site stays together and is developed as a unit. Or at least have developers work together to create a seamless development. The neighborhood is excited and the mayor says it's time to make this the gateway to Madison that it should be. He says already some developers have shown interest. We're not sure how serious they are, but we took our experiences on East Washington uh, over the last six months and we put out an RFP this week and let's see what happens. And those developers have just over a month to get their proposals into the city. Everything is due by July 27th. The mayor says he has appointed a special committee to oversee this process and evaluate all of the proposals that come in. That's exciting news. It Good is. stuff. Thanks, Mark.